Hey everybody, it's Campfire Trish. Thank you for joining me today. So today's video is uh, the third in our third annual Campfire Thanksgiving Day series. Whew, that was a mouthful. And uh, so if you've missed the previous two videos, we've done a uh, bruschetta on the Blackstone Grill. We have done smoked turkey in our um, um, barrel pit smoker and we've done um hasselback butternut squash in that smoker and we've done uh grilled um carrots and smashed potatoes on that blackstone grill uh today we're going to be moving on with that series we're doing we're thinking about dessert now dessert this video or this recipe can also be um, utilized for a breakfast too. So if you want to do a Thanksgiving breakfast using this, you can do it. If you want to do a, a lighter um, dessert, this is going to be a great option, but we're going to be doing pumpkin crepes. All right, so first things first, we're going to be making our batter for our crepes. I'm using my Ninja blender for this, but you can use any, any old blender uh, that you have on hand. But I'm going to be adding a cup of flour There. Make sure that, yeah, that looks firm. This is a half a cup of water, a half a cup of milk. I'm going to be adding that to this. I'm doing two tablespoons of melted butter. I know this is, I melted it in my microwave this morning. Three eggs, two, three. I'm going to be doing a teaspoon of pumpkin spice. A teaspoon of cinnamon. There. Actually, that was supposed to be half a teaspoon of cinnamon and I just totally put a teaspoon in. Hopefully, uh, a good thing is we like cinnamon. But yeah, uh, if you don't like cinnamon, do a half. And then this is a teaspoon of vanilla. There's that. And now we'll just put the top on and blender it. Blender, um, blender it till it is smooth. And then once that is blended or mixed well, you're going to put it in your fridge for at least an hour. So that's a great regular plain crepe recipe. <clears throat> but I forgot one of the most important ingredients for a Thanksgiving day um, uh, crepes is the pumpkin. So you want to add about a quarter of a cup of pureed pumpkin. And so I'm using um, just the Libby's brand 100% pumpkin, not the pumpkin pie filling pumpkin. Um, but it's about a quarter of a cup. So I'm just adding a couple of spoonfuls and then I'll blenderize it and then stick it in the fridge. All right, so I am using a smaller pan, it's an eight, eight inch pan, um, and I, you can use something bigger, but I think a smaller pan actually works better, generally uh, speaking, for crepes, just because you have a little bit more control. And uh, crepes are thin, so you don't want a lot of, you don't want it thick, so um, that's kind of what we're going with. So I'm taking some of the batter that's been chilling out in the fridge um, all day and you can do this overnight if you're doing um, breakfast crepes you can definitely do this overnight and let have the 
the batter all ready to go for the next morning. So I'm taking about a quarter cup of the um, batter and pouring it in. And I've got my pan heating uh, over medium heat and I've sprayed it with some Pam as well. There. And you just wanna move that, you wanna make it thin. So I'm just kind of moving it around. Kind of spreading out that batter. Because it's not like a thick pancake, it's just a very thin pancake. I'm just gonna let that cook there for a few minutes. And there was a the flip. All right, and that's it. I'm just going to take this one off. And look at that, it's pretty. Make the rest. Alright, so just finished with making the grapes. This was my last one, and of course it's the prettiest one. Um, this recipe made eight crepes total, and now I'm just going to fill this with that a cream cheese frosting. Um, and here that is. And here's how I made that cream cheese frosting. So it was um, about four to six ounces of softened cream cheese. It was a half a cup of pumpkin, uh, that 100% pumpkin puree. Uh, it was a teaspoon of pumpkin pie filling and uh, about two tablespoons of sugar. And um, you mix the cream cheese and the sugar up first. You beat it well and then you uh, add the other items. Well beat that well and then once that's done you're going to fold in about four ounces of Cool Whip. So here is the filling. You're just going to wrap it up and then you can add a little bit of whip topping because it wouldn't be Thanksgiving without some whipped topping, right? And then it's time to eat. All right, so the best part is the tasting. So the nice thing about crepes is um, you can make them ahead of time. So uh, I have quite a few, like I said, this made eight crepes and um, I'm probably gonna freeze a few. Uh, so that makes it kind of nice. And um, here's my tasting. I like pumpkin. It really tastes like pumpkin pie. It's delicious, y'all. If you like pumpkin pie and you want not to be in the kitchen making it all day, make some crepes. Or start off with Thanksgiving breakfast with some crepes. They're delicious. Make a great, um, make a great dessert as well. Mmm. All right, y'all. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. And um, be on the lookout for next week's. So it's the fourth in the series. So it's the last one in the series. My Thanksgiving Day series. And all, it's all about leftovers. So if you're looking for an idea to do um, um, for the turkey, watch the video. It's going to be delish. But I hope you guys enjoy this video. And until next Saturday at 8 a.m. Bye.